Day 28. Today, what are we talking about? We're talking about fascia. I think Ashley put us on here by ourselves just to see how much we're learning and how much we're paying attention. And how so much, a test. how much we can teach you <laughs> about fascia. Right. So uh, fascia is for everyone. Talk about babies, talk about teens, talk about elderly couples, families, like good fascia is for everyone, Lao. Including animals as well as a, as a vet myself i can say yes it's also for animals wow so what would you say to a five-year-old kid about blasting about blasting well i'll tell this five-year-old <laughs> first of all before you focus on blasting i would let them know the importance of having a good foundation so Everything that we've been talking about in this book about cellular health, about nutrition and toxicity, if we're using that as a forefront and the most important thing, then everything is built on top of that. Everything is going to be much more solid. So I'm going to tell them, hey, you, your sandbox in the backyard, if we just throw a bunch of sand on, it's going to fall over after a day, right? It's like, yeah, it happens all the time. So I'd go out, I'd find some bricks or maybe some wood and would have a foundation. I'd let them know this is your cellular health, okay? Now on top of this, we can build this castle, which would be the fascia. So sit strong foundation, healthy lifestyle, healthy cells, and that's going to then in turn make sure that I've got healthy fascia. And then mm -hmm. he's probably going to ask you, what the heck is fascia and why do I want healthy fascia, Lau? Oh my gosh. So why? Sticks. Why? Why? <laughs> because if you don't have healthy fascia, when, you, when you're a grown-up, you're not going to be able to jump. You're not going to be able to move freely. You're not going to be able to play as you do now. You're going to have body pain. There's going to be a lot of uh, difficulties for going to the bathroom, to, to standing, to squatting, to moving around your house, to doing the basic things. You're going to be really stiff. So you have to have, uh, or you, yeah, you have to have healthy fascia because you want to be a healthy grown-up that is actually enjoying life. And then, not just with the movement, but internal, like Ashley has been teaching us over the, 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 the past days of also the importance of fascia in the health of our organs mm -hmm. and the transmission yes. of different, uh, all sorts of bodily functions. So. And how do we get healthy fascia? That one that is very deep in the layers of the body that we cannot necessarily reach with the blaster is everything that we've been talking about health the foundation of health the four horsemen mm -hmm. then food combinations proper hydration sweating exercise oh, yeah. that's how you get healthy inner fascia and by blasting then again as ashley shown in the studies even though i'm not going to blast my liver but if i blast in certain areas it's shown that the benefits still do reach into that area and into those organs, although I'm not physically mm -hmm. <laughs> touching that organ. Yeah. So Why? Because everything's related. Everything's, everything's connected. Everything's connected. So nowadays also, it's very common for us that we study under the Western medical program that we tend to see each organ or each system like like a part a like, compartment that's like a compartment car yes record. and what happens is that you get you get specialized in that compartment but then you don't get specialized the other things of the body you you know because you went through medical school but your main focus is going to be let's say the digestive system or your main focus are going to be hormones and the, di oh, and the main focus is going to be heart and lungs. So what happens is that you miss out. More you know the details about one specific thing, more you zoom in to that thing and you forget about zooming out and seeing the holistic perspective of everything, of how everything's intertwined and connected. So that's why Jared says, maybe you're not going to blast your liver but you can address digestive issues, for example, blasting and stimulating specific meridians in your body that are not in the liver. So same principle with acupuncture. You're going to have needles along your, your legs or in your arms to stimulate your digestive system. So same, same with blasting. It's a holistic approach. So bottom line, doesn't matter how old you are, obviously with some common sense. Again, common sense, everybody. Please, everybody <laughs> should be blasting. Yeah, you're not gonna blast a baby, you know. 
I mean, the fashion is so healthy already. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, of course, common sense. Right, but so get out there, blast, and just do it. Just do it. Simple. All right. So stay tuned. Tomorrow, day twenty-nine. Now, what are we going to talk about? Day twenty-nine. Let's see the schedule. Radical shift in your perspective. Let's we're going to go see. through a, a little recap of some of the things that we've talked about, and we're going to put some things in perspective. So hang out with us tomorrow, check it out, and we'll see you on day 29.